jerk on the freeway almost crashed my car. He was like in the second or third lane in the middle of the freeway and he was trying to cut across. He like stopped. He was going almost zero miles an hour trying to get to the exit ramp that I was in almost. <sighs> I had this huge coke sitting in my seat and he he just cut in front of me and a bunch of cars were honking and slamming on their brakes and if I hadn't slammed on I was directly behind him or he cut right in front of me I nearly crashed I was honking on my horn I had to slam on my brakes I would have ran into him if my brakes hadn't been really good thank goodness I got a good brake job a few months ago and he dumped the whole coke in the floorboard and there's coke everywhere all over the carpet stained my carpet it went all the way up in here even up on the panel it's all all under here he <sighs> oh it's soaked most of it went splashing up here in here but it's soaking wet with coke oh i'm so pissed off i can't believe that oh my god he covered this thing with, and it was not I mean, it was used, but it was in really good condition. Now it's all stained and ruined. Oh, that just pisses me off. And then when we got up on the the road, I mean, I hauled ass right up on him. I was trying to get his license number, and I was so rattled by it. I had it in my mind, but I, God, I can't remember it now. I'm so pissed off. And then I was... We, he was in the right-hand turn lane to turn onto this busy street, and he cut back in front of me to go straight, and he nearly ran into a pickup. He liked within probably a few inches, and that truck, I had to keep turning right. I couldn't follow him because I'm not going to get in a wreck, and the truck that he nearly sideswiped, I saw it slow down in the street, and this guy was driving crazy. So I don't know what happened. I mean, I couldn't see him. I hope that... <laughs> I hope he did something. I hope the guy got in trouble. Maybe he called the cops. I don't know. Ugh. Alright. I gotta clean this mess up. Bye. Hi, y'all. It's super dark out here. I mean... Or not super dark, but it's starting to get dark. And, uh... I just had this incident with, or about an hour ago. I just went to go eat, but I was on my way home. Just got off work. I was on the freeway, and it's about a three or four, no, like four lane freeway, I guess, on one side and like four on the other. This stupid ignorant jerk was like in the second or third lane. I had new tags on the car, but he slowed down in full traffic on a freeway trying to squeeze his way over to the right side to get on you know to exit the freeway or actually it was going up a ramp and I was in the right lane you know I was going up the exit too but I didn't see him until he got almost right in front of me and all the other cars were slowing down honking and I mean there was almost a massive wreck and I just happened to be in that very right lane I ended up right behind him he just cut right in front of me and he was going very slow he slowed down to I don't know how slow he was going like five or ten I mean he was just coasting off and I had to slam on my brakes thank goodness I had good brakes because I thought I was going to crash into his rear end and amazingly I didn't and I had a full coke big huge coke that I just bought at lunchtime at the truck stop filled up my big old jug that thing flew into the floor my purse everything flew into the floorboard just and I couldn't stop because then after we went up the exit ramp it goes on to this other road that goes straight but there's also another curve and I was going to take the curve to go to the other direction and he was he was in my lane in front of me and then as we're going through this other little curve he cut back to the left and entered back into the lane 
I mean, we're off the freeway already. We're on the city streets. And there's two major streets that are like going east, west, north, and south. And I was making another right-hand turn to go to the other direction. And he just decided to go. He was turning right with me in front of me. And then he cut right back across, and he wanted to go, I guess, up north, south, north. And he cut in front of a pickup truck, and he nearly sideswiped it. The truck had to scoot over a little bit. And then they went through the light, and I was still turning right, and I could barely, I was trying to see, but I didn't want to crash. I just saw the truck slow down, and I think he was kind of beside him or that car had slowed down so slow he was just driving like a jackass and so that truck got in front of me and I saw him put on his brakes I don't know and it was right next to another like a McDonald's restaurant so I don't know if he pulled the guy over or I hope he did or I mean I don't want anybody to be hurt but <laughs> he had new tags on the car like he just bought it he was that's one of the worst driving I've had people pull some stupid stuff, but that was just, it was very nerve-wracking. I was shaking, and if I would have had my old brakes before I got them fixed, I would have ran into him. I would have crashed right into his car. I made a mess out of my floor, and the carpet's, you know, used. This is an older truck, but now it's all spotted because Coke has um, artificial coloring in it. And if you get it on your clothes, it can leave a stain. You know, it'll wash out. But sometimes it'll leave, like, especially like on a light colored or white shirt, it'll leave like a stain. I mean, these carpets are kind of tan colored, but I don't really care. I mean, they're, I mean, I just didn't want Coke seeping in. And it was like 64 ounces. I think I made it, might have drank like 10 ounces of it. And it was um about only one third ice because i don't like a lot of ice remember that my sonic rant i don't like a lot of ice in my drinks so it had a lot of coke in it and it just flew i had those they're not weather tech mats but they're kind of like weather tech they're like the walmart brand of or you know cheaper brand but they're they've got the raised edge but not as great as weather techs but I mean, it just mostly went into the corner and it just smashed right into the side of the door and up on the panel. Thank goodness it was covering, it had a cover, it didn't touch any wires or anything. And But it seeped in and I had to drive like a block or two. I couldn't pull over because I was on a busy street that was like three lanes going one way, three lanes going another way, and a, a middle lane, like seven lanes, so I couldn't, you know, just instantly pull over, and so I had to drive like a block, and it was, you know, five o'clock traffic. Ugh, that just, ugh. Bad drivers like that, ugh, they make me so mad, but we're kind of notorious in this area for bad drivers. We've been on national news, and this is <laughs> the city oh sometimes the driving here is treacherous but I need to go and clean all that up and see what I can do I can go to a car wash and see if I can rinse those mats out or something I don't know Ooh. Oh, well, I hope your day went better than mine well thank you all thank you for coming to my channel and uh, like comment subscribe thank you